Hello and welcome back to Project Ozone 3 Mythic Mode and this is episode 13 and today we're primarily going to be focusing on the transmission of power wireless. So wireless power system early on that's easy to do even in the early game because otherwise if you're using the more advanced stuff it takes really complicated things. It's neat that um, I start here on every episode because then I can see the uh, the number of items I have if I ever want to look back at that. So let's get right into it. We're gonna I made a room um, that's dedicated to this wireless power idea and concept. So we're gonna go right on up. I like making different rooms uh, that are dedicated to things. That way uh, it just segregates things into its own spots. So let's do this. Oh boy, let's uh, find out why and how we ended up here. Originally, back uh, when I first started this, I needed this ineffable glass. And the recipe was for that, and the ineffable glass goes into these things, which um, <laughs> goes into lots and lots of machines, specifically this one, to get the pulverizer and all that. So I said, how do I get this? And we've gone over that, and it requires one of these, a resonator to make... It's a special item here, this thing right here, which gets you the recipe for this. We know how to make the glass, the thickened glass, the moonstone. And I was like, oh, how do I make that? Sure enough, I stumbled my way through the um, making the resonator and figuring out how to power it. Now. When I looked at that, it had grid power. When I placed it down, it had grid power, which I never really understood. I never got into that mod. Zero of zero. And I said, well, how do I create grid power? So under extra utilities, if I just put the uh, at sign so it filters it down to GP, the solar panels came up. And I said, okay, 16 of these, if I put them, and it'll work during the daytime. Um, so I made 16 of these things. Easy to make, polished stone, that's easy to make, just an ender, ender pearl, you chop it up with a glass cutter. So I made, <laughs> I think I made like 18 of these, because uh, they come three at a time. And at the time, I didn't realize, but grid power is, by nature, it's wireless. So I didn't have to connect it to this thing, but I surrounded this thing with uh, the solar panels, and we can even put one up one up so that we can see it. Right now it says grid power is 0 of 64. I'll explain why it says that in a second, but um, if we go up here and we go like that, now we have a grid power of 65 because of this is down. And if you want, you can get, make a, a lunar one like that as well. And that'll that's generating no power, but at night it generates power. This was for the daytime. This is for the nighttime. Both are easy to make. So that's what I did. I I made 16 of those, I connected it up, and then not only that, I, um, the early game I used a hopper to pull items out of the bottom, and then I put a thing on top, and a hopper on top, and it was just continuously making stuff just during the day, because I didn't have any lunar panels hooked up to it. And I went through the recipes, just like this, and I said, okay, I put a bunch of polished stone in there, so I got a bunch of that. That gets you that. Those give you that. I even made some of these and a bunch of this. And the, I made all these things. And then I had a little system where it distributes them and it puts it on there. And then it's kind of like an overflow if it doesn't find a spot. Now these items, these coils, they don't stack well, so they don't fit in these things well. So I made an item box just for those. And I was like, great, here I am. And I, I was in great shape. And then... I wanted wireless power so bad for this uh, this playthrough. Let's cover this up, make it look nice, and we're gonna put these away. We'll just put them right in there. Can I put anything else in there? Absolutely. So I wanted wireless power, and I was looking and looking and looking, and sure enough, early on, before you get into mechanism and before you get into anything like Ender IO, this will give you wireless power. And I was like, how good could it be? Well, I found out that it was really good. 
So I said wireless power stores RF energy for wireless transmission. Exactly what I want to do. Requires RF transmitter to send energy. Hmm. Wireless transmitter. Okay. So I said, look, I looked at it and it requires 4GP. And right away I said, wait a second. I don't want this to only distribute the um, the energy during the daytime, and I didn't want to have to make a, a moon lunar panel. So I said, is there any other way? So I searched, filtered it by the mod by putting the at symbol with extra, and I said, show me anything that has the word GP in it. Sure enough, it shows this because GP is in there. And I went through, and then it said this. These are generators. Operates, uh, operates when adjacent to lava. So I guess you put this next to lava, and it'll sit there and generate four grid power. Water, same kind of thing. Windmill, I don't like those because it's blocking everything. I said, you know what? This one. Placed over fire. I knew how to make fire. So I said, what if I had netherrack down and lit it on fire and placed these over it? Okay, and I, if you hold shift, it'll actually tell you some more interesting things. You have up to 10 of these because they generate four grid power each. It'll it'll do four per one. But if, as soon as you go over 10 of these, which I did because we have 64 uh, grid power right now, um, there's some efficiency loss. So let's go take a look at what we did here. Again, I made a room dedicated to... Fire mills. <laughs> here we are. Sure enough, I ran all these around here. And there's more than 16 because there's a little bit of a power loss. And I, I can prove that by going like that. And now we're, we're at grid power 62.4. Well, that's weird because it didn't go down by 4, but there is a power loss now. Let's take a look at that. Just like that. So let's see. Pop this here so we can easily relight it. We'll put that one there. And now we're back up to 60. Oh, now we're up to 65.6. And I'm going to put this here. And of course, this room can be expanded. And that's what I did it. And we'll put this back. So now that solved the grid power problem because each one of these, when you place it down, takes up one grid power, not four but it takes one grid power. So I said, okay, can I make these things? Yes. I know how to make those. I make quite a bit of them. Can I make this thing? Yes, it's expensive with one of these things because that's a stack of redstone and that's another stack because you need two of them. But you can make these. You can make them fairly early on. Now let's find out how they work. Well, the idea is to have a um, RF production room, and in my case, of course, it's powered by sticks and coal. <laughs> Let's go down and find that out. There we go. Quite a few levels here. Nice farm of ender pearls. Auto gathering. Let's go up to the room that I dedicated to um, RF production for now. And this was running my um, alloys the simple alloy uh, smelters. And what I'd done is I dug the uh, the power cable underneath and it feeds through and it goes back over here and comes out. And this is the whole idea of why I don't want to have to have, I want to go away from this and get wireless power. I wanted to be able to do this wirelessly. Pop one of these on here and it'll just power this and transmit it and work. And I don't have to have all those wires. So, how do we do that? I said, well, let's do it at the other end of this. Let's put an energy cell, and let's take a look at that. Energy cell. Hmm. How can we make this? We know how to do that. We know how to do all those things. A frame. Well, that's actually easy. So I made a bunch of these, but right now, just one right here. We're going to pop this down and this. Now, if you don't put it connected to something, this is what happens. I look at it and I said, hmm, okay, the four grid power. I must have a, I must have a, um, 
must be nighttime, and I had one of those lunar transmitters down because normally that would say 64, but because I put that lunar uh, solar panel thing up there, I have 65 grid power. Grid power is just used to run extra utilities items. Okay. Now this thing it drains four, so now I've used four of my grid power, but it doesn't have any like uh, there's no power in it. See at the top it says zero of 32 fe um, rf your, your your actual power. So let's put this right on top of here. And I put it on top because these blue are the inputs of power, and on top, now it's blue, that, that would be the input. I want it to output on the top. So let's do that. Pop that down. And sure enough, now we have 3200. That's great! 3200 FE or RF. But now let's, let's do the really cool part. Right over here. The RF. I wanted to power these things up without any power. You know, I didn't want to have to do the coal power generator and feed coal into it, and then you do a transmission line, you know, the, the uh, power line into the back. I didn't want to do all that. So I said, what are these things? Um, they only have a range of four blocks. Okay, so if I put it right here, it might reach all these. But if I put it over there, it's not going to work. So a lot of the times, and in this case, what, I'll, what I would do is I'd put it right on here. And that's an input, so it would be able to power that. I'll show you in a second. So let's put one of these, I don't know, let's put one right on top of it. Okay, now a lot of things have started to happen here. Um, it's not draining the power, but if you look on here, this will power this thing. I guess we could actually prove it by going like this. We're going to jump down and we're going to pulverize a bunch of coal into um, pulverized coal. We need a ton of this anyways. This is how I make steel with iron and a bunch of other recipes as well. This is the pulverizer. A little nice little system here. Just a quick peek. It goes in and out the double green on the right. I just walk up to my pulverizer, double click all those in, and let's go take a look upstairs. Right over here. Sure enough, they're all firing up. It's going, this is the in box, pulling out the back into the back of these things. The products, you don't need a, a resonate, a servo on the bottom because I set these all up to auto output through the bottom and they input from the back and they spit into here and then they get right back there so I don't have to come up here and deal with these machines I can put them anywhere so these are powered now let's find out how this thing works the power drain is one so now my grid power is five of 64 we'll call it um, because that takes four this each of these you put down takes one so I could, if I felt like, I could put one on top of each other just to make sure. But I know they're all getting power. They're all staying charged. This one is all of them, all these way out here. And the neat thing is if you right-click on this, it actually shows you how many tiles it's um, serving. There's five. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. Now let's go take a look at what's going on over here. This thing can transmit up to 3,200. So I imagine if I need more than 3,200, maybe put a couple more down of these. I haven't got to that point yet. But why is it 3,000 of 3,200? Well, this is why, right over here. Beautiful. The power is RF or FE 40. And I've got five of them, so that's 200. And that's why. So now, I've got wireless power. Let's do that. Let's go ahead and put this on here. We'll put this right on the front. Now, if I right-click this thing, it's serving quite a few things. It's reaching into the air. It's reaching it 17 tiles. Well, why is that? Let's break this thing off. So we don't need it anymore. And if I excavate, if I excavate this, 
jump out of here. It should take all of these. Let's see if that's the case. And then this thing, when I click on that, still do doing 17 tiles, meaning it's trying to power all these, that, the things in back, all these things underneath here. Let's break this down carefully. I don't want to break that one. That one's okay to break, but, and this one's okay to break. But this, <laughs> here we go. I hold down the excavate Bane Mine key, and here we go. Got a bunch of them back. Sounds good. I'll, I'll have to fix that area, too. In fact, I'll just go like that to remind me to, that I have to fix it. <laughs> sure enough, these are gone. Interesting. Oh, <laughs> I actually didn't want to do that, but it's just okay. We'll just pop this, because here's the thing. Yeah, I didn't want to... Uh, I didn't want to power it from there, but I still need to distrib distribute it, and I don't want to sit there and use this or a bunch of these. I could, I could put one here, but I wanted just to power this thing to have extra power on hand, the two million. And these are all getting power and everything, which is fine. Uh-oh, now this one's not getting power. It's only serving this one tile. This is not getting power because I should probably reconnect these. And in this case, I don't mind connecting these up. It's still remote power. So I just shift click these things. And just like that. Now they're all getting power again. Except it doesn't, it's not connected. That's the important part. Now it's serving six tiles. Probably this one, the ones in the back, it counts the power cables as, as tiles as well. But now it's working. Beautiful thing. Let's find out how much uh, RF it's taking. 2890. Probably, you know, like, probably like 10 for something like these. Sure enough, it's working nice and smooth. So that is, is how you do RF uh, wireless power. Not only that, I went way out to test it. I went way over there at my mob farm and put down a pulverizer and put one of these on top of it. And sure enough, it uh, it worked. So it works at quite a distance. We'll get rid of these just to keep the, the numbers nice and smooth. And it's a beautiful thing. So now I can go around and power all the things. Let's say this thing. I want to power this up and, and charge these batteries. Let's find out if I put one right here. I'll put one right there. So now it's going to charge all these batteries so that if I uh, need, need some elsewhere, I can do that. I've got my lava room. And I'll explain those all the rest of this in a later episode. I can expand this coal production to another layer up here. Pump this down. I can even stretch it around this way and come back. Um, I, these aren't going to last forever as far as the, the coal generating power system that I have. I, I'll eventually have to step up pretty soon. But um, I'll still have wireless power to an extent. And then um, then I can get into the more um, intricate power distribution systems. But a uh, beautiful thing. And I like it a lot. Let's see what else I can power. Power this. How can I power this whole thing without, um, without, you know, actually generating power? Let's just pop one right here. Beautiful. Now it's powering up. Now it can make the stones and just cooks and makes stones for me. I use these to build. I use thousands of them. So it just makes them for me out of cobblestone. This is okay. It's already in good shape. Um, let's take a look at the... Oh, gosh. <laughs> we'll end over here. We have wireless power. If you have any questions about it, just um, let me know. I'll, I'll do my best to answer it in the um, in the comments below. If you like this stuff, so go ahead and subscribe. Uh, any comments or likes, uh, it always helps. And uh, this is a beautiful little system. Just 
sit there and shakes and shakes and shakes and does its thing. I'll explain why and how I did that in the next episode as well. I just wanted this episode to focus on grid power and wireless transmission of energy, which makes things a lot easier. And you can actually get into this fairly early too, which is uh, surprising. I didn't, I just didn't know about it, and now I do. So with that, have a good one, and enjoy. Pretty, pretty cool. Everything's moving and shaking. Well, you can tell I built that one first. It's all janky. <laughs> this one's nice. <laughs> I guess it would be better to build the the square first, and then connect the thing underneath it, and with the water wheel sticking out the back. That's it.